Hey, it's Izzy from Tech, the Global Tire and Wheel Authority, where we are all about training and education. In this video, we'll show you how to properly repair a self-sealing tire. Now, the self-sealing tire has been around since the 1980s, and the first product came from Uniroyal Tire Company's Royal Seal Tire. Lately, the tire industry has seen a resurgence in this product, and several major tire manufacturers have developed their own line of self-sealing tires. So what is a self-sealing tire? A self-sealing tire is built with a sealant material adhered to the inside of the tire under the tread. It's a temporary fix to prevent someone from being stranded if the tread area of their tire gets damaged. The major difference between a self-sealing tire and a traditional tire is the layer of sealant that fills the punctured area of the tread as the air attempts to leak out, which makes self-sealing tires pretty cool. Self-sealing tires definitely need inspected and repaired. It's very tempting to just put a tire back in service when the tire is not immediately deflating, but you have to remember the seal is only a temporary correction. Manufacturers of self-sealing tires state that if a puncture occurs, the tire should be taken to the shop to ensure the damage hasn't exceeded the sealant's limitation. Now let's take a look at the industry standard tech tools needed to properly repair a self-sealing tire. And these tools can be found on our website at techtirerepairs.com. To begin, try and move the sealant away from the injured area using a scraper. If the sealant has a film on it, drill out the injury, then use a wire hand brush to remove the film and expose the tacky sealant underneath. Remember to clean all the sealant off your carbide cutters so you do not contaminate future tire repairs. You can use your wire brush to do that. Now, if the sealant is still tacky, the repair can be installed directly on the sealant. You can apply Tech Chemical Vulcanizing Fluid 760 in the injury and on the tapered end of the repair. If the sealant is no longer tacky, scrape away an area for the repair and apply a thin coat of Tech Chemical Vulcanizing Fluid to the inner liner, give it about three to five minutes to dry. If the sealant was scraped away, just use your scraper and spread the sealant back over the repair unit to seal the repair. For more information about this repair or to search our training catalog, visit our website at techtirerepairs.com and click on the tech training tab. From there, you can find repair manuals, videos, our list of classes, and of course, browse and purchase all your favorite tech products. I'm Izzy with Tech, the global tire and wheel authority. Thanks for joining us and be sure to catch me in other tech training videos as I show you how to properly repair all types of tires using technician trusted products by Tech. See you soon.